What's up guys, it's Jess Side Eyes coming to you with two weeks into No No November guys. Yes, let's go. We are one day away from the halfway point guys. Let's keep on going. And in case you relapse already, guys, don't worry. I also relapse on this month, but I'm going to keep on going and I'm not giving up and so should you guys keep on going. And today is actually a good day and I wanted to tell you guys about it, but you know, quickly before I get into it, just another quick reminder to please subscribe to the channel as I'm trying to grow this channel out and any subscribing, liking and comment would help out the channel immensely. And so I appreciate you and let's get into it, right? So, you know, I try not to count the days because like I think that counting the days will inevitably make you relapse because you're always like getting the thought in your mind like, okay, what day am I on? If I don't get to day 30, then this NOVAP would owe me nothing. But you know, guys, this really doesn't work that way. And you know, a good quote that I heard is from the man himself, Ice Gold JT. He says to don't count the days, but make the days count. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, also, by the way, where has he been? He hasn't uploaded for like eight months, bro. Like, bro, literally come back to YouTube, man. Like, what are you doing, right? But anyways, I'm sure he's cooking up something in the background, you know. Let the man cook, right? But anyways, today I say it's a good day because, you know, I actually just went to my class and I did my test, right? But the test was actually pretty easy because today I actually study for it. I know, big shocker. Once you study for a test, you actually do good on it, right? But even then, guys, I only studied for about like less than two hours, like an hour and a half right before class, right? And I still went to class and I aced it. Granted, this was like a psychology class. So, you know, it's a pretty simple introductory course anyway. So even a guy like me can do well in this course, right? But, you know, granted, the point is that I have studied and I've worked my butt off and there we go. I get my results and, you know, I'm like, feeling pretty confident about this test. I'm definitely going to be, you know, getting maybe in the high 70s, 80s. Like I consider that a pretty good solid grade. And then from there, I'm just going to keep on going, right? But, you know, with that being said, that's not the thing that made me happy. In fact, you know, after classes ended, I went to just ask the professor a question because, you know, I just had a question, right? But then there was this guy that was in front of me and then he was just like turning around and he was like, hey, like, excuse me. And I was just like, hey, like, what's up? And then he showed me like his Instagram page and he was like, oh, like, yeah, like I'm a barber and I see that, you know, the side of your haircut is like, is like this way, like I'm a, I'm a barber, like you can come to me and I can give like haircuts for like $20. I am mean, just like, okay, cool. Like this guy seems like a pretty cool guy. So, so after I asked a question with my teacher, we just continued to chop it up. And then we were just asking questions back and forth. And it actually went by really well. And guys, I think I just made a new friend there. And it was honestly way easier than I thought, right? This is what I was saying with yesterday's video where I said, I wish I had friends, right? Literally, if it wasn't for this haircut or just all the circumstances that came into this specific scenario, then, hey, I wouldn't have met this guy, right? And, you know, granted, he approached me and I reciprocated. And, you know, I'm still trying to be the person to approach other people as well because I want to be that person now. You know, I want to reach out to other people and meet them. And, you know, that's a skill that I feel like everybody should develop in general because you want to be able to be very approachable and you want to be confident in the way that you approach, right? Like the way that this guy approached me, he just went up to me and say like, you know, what's going on? And I was like, yo, what's up? So, you know, the conversation went by really well. And it was actually way like simpler than I thought, guys. Like for me, at least, you know, it's just the beginning. That's the hardest part. Like once you get past the beginning conversation, like the beginning small talk, and then you start to get deeper and deeper. Like that's when I pretty much excel at talking. So, you know, we chopped it up. It was nice, you know, we exchanged Instagrams and yeah, he's a good friend now. We might study together later, you know, go buy a coffee shop or just like, you know, go to a study place and guys, I've been feeling good, you know, just talking to someone already just makes me feel way better and way confident in myself. Like this honestly just gives me enough motivation to just like, keep on going, you know, my classes and just do better, right? So I'm definitely going to be continuing on that. And I definitely think that NOFA helped me in this aspect because I was definitely feeling really confident during the conversation. You know, I wasn't tense at all. I was pretty relaxed and we were like exchanging back and forth and yeah, it just went by really well. And I feel really good right now and guys trust me like if you have friends in your your university life it, it literally makes 
a hell of a difference. Like I feel already so much better and this is just something that I've been needing for a freaking while. And we actually touched base on like a lot of things like, okay, social media, how it's bad for you and how like we're trying to like improve and how he's been like doing this barber thing. And actually that was actually something that I was looking for for a while because like I didn't know any like barber places around the place that I live in. So it's perfect that, you know, he helps out and you know i might go to him for my cuts from now on right so yeah that was really awesome you know i really really am happy to have that opportunity but it's now the time for me to give that opportunity to other people aka you know approach people just say what's up and you know 90 percent of the time guys they're not just gonna like straight out reject you right they're not just gonna like walk up to you and be like hey yo you know what i don't like you i'm just not gonna talk to you whatever whatever like in the rare chances of that happening you know that they weren't gonna be your friends in the first place most of the time if you just walk up to someone and be like hey yo like how's it going like you know do you know how to do this question can you help me out they'll be like oh yeah sure let me take a look or you know something like that right so guys it's not that hard and i'm definitely going to do this and i just don't want to be the person to just talk and do nothing I'm gonna make the promise to myself that on Thursday, that's the one next time I have classes. Well, technically tomorrow I have classes as well, but Thursday is a good class to practice a lot, right? So I'm gonna go to that class and I'm gonna just try to talk to someone and I'm just gonna report back here and see how it goes, right? So with that being said, that is how my two weeks into NoFap has been going. And once again, if you watched for this far into the video, thank you so much. Um, just subscribe if you haven't already and yes, that's gonna be all for now and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace